Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> so this is intriguing because one of you guys sent us, you've been sending us this for a little while, but we've only come around doing it now. They call five or fifth gen. And they actually, I think all of them are like basically coaches. They're all mentors. Mm. And they first met in this contest, singing contest called Europop singing contest and that was like all the way back in 2014 and then there's i think they were such good singers and they had such good, good chemistry that people kept asking them if they sort of wanted to wear a group a yeah band or something and then they did do it and then they had this performance that you guys keep sending us uh, which is very popular it has like over 20 million views and it's on the wish bus so let, let's give it a watch uh, luckily we have ballet which is always nice Yay. um i'll try my best yeah to sort of because i think they are gonna be very vocal uh Forward. Mad. Yeah, Forward. so go on. Now I guess I love these videos. It's quite old as well, it's like 2016. Yeah. To Then one of their names is Mama Clay or something like that. Oh. One of the girls. Yeah, this has vocal chops written all over it. But he looks like he's dubbing. Yeah, he looks That's, so. He is so fuck? relaxed. relaxed. <laughs> he looks. It looks like this music video was shot previously, and they're mo like dubbing. dubbing. And <laughs> it also, he's got the singing quality of like a like a soloist. You know, like oh, yeah. like like a. It's so interesting that they were sort of mentors and stuff for like them. And they, well, if they were picked to to be judges or mentors for a competition, but a they contest, weren't artists beforehand. They weren't. No. But they perhaps they weren't known within the insiders yeah maybe because like, like, maybe they oh. coach a lot of people it's yeah. sort of like that guy louis campos the guy the older gentleman yes that yes always, that you found out yeah who that's was how he got involved because he sort of he has directed lots of concerts that'd yes. be like adonis yes you know musical director exactly he's yeah, a musical yeah, yeah. director and then right. people know him but he's not a solo artist that's right you know that's right This is such a brain-melting moment. Yeah, different, different mixing as well on the, yeah. those mics. Well, it's different because the signal that you get from an uh, M. 48 or an M55, 58 from a uh, sure mic like those, it's it's actually a completely different sequence and they work in a different frequency too. Yeah, of course, yeah. So uh, when you have a condensed microphone, that's the, that's the whole thing. They're condensed, they're pre, uh, pre-compressed. Uh, the condensed uh, ones are the ones that are on the wish bus uh these oh, bad so boys. Those are the ones that people use for radio. And these are more for for like live stages where. Those are called card cardioids, whatever the fuck you call them. Ah, okay. So that's what you call them. I don't know though. Yeah, but it, definitely the signal is different. Yeah. That's just live, live, dude. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's also also pop it's a hard song yeah also though. pop in a vocal group in a live fucking thing it's so difficult to but work. he has this disco feel to it no it's not disco it's it, it it's does just, it's, it's like pop 
But like from I don't know, it has this vintagey type. I I can't put it down. It feels like it feels like uh, yeah, like very two uh, thousands American pop. Yeah, and it's hard. It's hard to actually work around it because you get like a phrase per singer. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm gonna keep watching. This is interesting. It's interesting. <laughs> It's also the whole thing of how well are they hearing themselves and how much it's also you know they, I also think the harmonies are way too close together right so that could play a, a disadvantage for the singer's uh, confidence because you have three male vocalists and the three of them have a really similar vocal timbre sure. uh, whether obviously stylistically speaking they're very different but they have a similar vocal timbre. So to work in harmonies, it, it kind of like clashes a little bit. You want to find people that complement each other in, in vocal colors. So when you when you layer them, they, they become, the depth becomes very prevalent. In this particular case, you're hearing a very, I don't know, maybe it's, I don't know the choices of, of harmonies perhaps. They, they, they're not, congealing well enough perhaps they're too close together uh, and it has nothing to do with the vocal delicacy of each singer or i think it might have been just a, a choice mm. maybe perhaps this is one of those pieces that are not the most comfortable as a group singing wise yeah maybe a rush decision could have been um yeah i mean it's also intriguing how the whole thing comes about like yeah what what we know that this do you show yeah. What song would you like to showcase? And maybe, you know, maybe if you asked them, they sort of thought, you know, I, I, I thought perhaps we could have chosen another song. Um, but we also know that these opportunities get sprung in, in, in like nowhere this. sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So sometimes you have no chance to prepare. I mean, we've heard plenty of, of uh, anecdotes where, you know, you got a call in the same day you're in the bus. Right. And if you're working as a quintet, you, you quintet. got quintet you you gotta work through a lot of details that you need time to process yeah. um, these are really interesting sort of vocal arrangement like because yeah three males and two females and especially the three lads do have a very similar sort of a uh, timber to each other it, it the does, girls too but yeah it, 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 stylistically they're very different though i think that's that's the key here it's intriguing go on let's keep watching mm. Technically, they're all very sound. Very, very. It's not a question of talent. That's what I'm saying. It's not a question of talent or execution. I think perhaps... They're all very sound. It's just the, yeah. the arrangement of the actual song. Yes. It's the only, probably the only question it will be. And about. it's only the arrangement in the chorus harmony work that I'm... Yeah, that I'm not 100% convinced. But it... Come on. What, what does my opinion matter when you can do that in the moment, right? No, it's not about that. <laughs> it's also interesting as well. I mean, we look at the comments to see what the perception oh, of yeah. the song was. Because it is intriguing also to find out, you know, what the favorite part of specific songs are, what yes. were maybe the parts that people maybe didn't didn't like or stuff like that. It was always in intriguing to in the whole reviewing process, but go on. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. Wow. 
difficult choices though. <laughs> That chorus is rough. That was a nice resolution. Yeah, I just think that chorus is mad it's rough. Resolution. They find cool, uh, like a congealed ending towards yep. the end, the, the the end of the singing phrase, which lets me know that it's not. It's yeah. I think it's like it's an a arrangement thing of issue. I think it's not. I, a... I don't think it's an arrangement issue. I think it's more of like comfort. There's lack of uh, of knowledge, perhaps, of the of the of the singing phrase. I don't know. I would say I don't know how likable that chorus might be for a lot of people. Look at the comment section below. I think the lyrics is fucking awesome. It's very nice. This song reminds me to be strong. Put it up, mate. So oh, yeah, it. sorry. Uh, this song reminds me of to be strong, to reach my dreams, even if it's hard. Oh, look, Brazilian it's comment. Nice. nice. Uh, I'm so, love it. Ang, Katang, Toai, Pampa. Oh, good vibes. Okay, I understand that. I love this group. Oh, it's a classic OPM. That's where, that's where the vintage... Feel, feel to from. it comes yes. from right these guys are vibing with each other we feel you guys well wow, nice beautiful song yeah i think you know what's intriguing uh i fell in love with the guy in the center yeah he, <laughs> did, he has an amazing voice you they all have incredible vocal yeah, you timbers know, though i really like them you know what's interesting is like they're again like they're all technically very sound and obviously mm. very knowledgeable in singing but i think perhaps that choice of song um doesn't maximize their ability to showcase what they're really good at um which i think what they're really good at yeah it probably is you know when you have a quintet but like harmonizing work is probably one of the most impressive things they can yeah. all do yeah. but i think also because they are quite close together but they the gold in the group i think feels it feels that it's in the details and not in the gross it's in the tiny little fine moments that's right but i don't think this song even though to loy parin is a fucking banged um and maybe this song, because it's so poppy, perhaps it wasn't the right choice. I guess they could have gone for the typical sort of ballad work, stuff like that, or acoustic mm. sort of setting with things. I like the fact that they try to do something different. But yes, it is really yes, intriguing. It, like, yeah, choice is so important. Um, even though you might be some of the best technical singers uh, in in, mm -hmm. in the industry. And I think a lot, a lot of things... In, in, I, I'm going to stand with this argument that it's... Uh, you, just, you need time to marinate, especially when it comes to harmony work. Season uh, food. Yeah, you, you need to let it sit in your brain for a little bit. And uh, sometimes sometimes three or four sessions isn't enough. And that's completely okay. And and if we, if we are being generous, because sometimes that could have been sprung in the moment. What song do we all know? You know? Um, it It's interesting, though. I really like their personalities and their personal takes on the phrases that they were given or they and how they distributed the track themselves uh but i'm interested in, in to seeing what else they can do yeah so perhaps if you have any other performances and stuff like that, do let us know um and goodbye all right goodbye